Hello gang, this is Anthony Radzikavage, and welcome to the Linux Corner. Today, we are going to install CentOS 7 minimally within VirtualBox. Now, the first thing that you're going to need to do is make sure that you download the ISO for CentOS 7. You can go to centos7.org, click on the Download Now, and I just chose the Everything ISO. You can select any mirror, go ahead and click that, and make sure you remember exactly where you downloaded that file. Now, when you're finished downloading, you need to make sure that you have VirtualBox installed. We're going to go ahead and click New, and I'm just going to call mine CentOS 7 Minimal. Now, CentOS is a direct clone of Red Hat, so I'm going to leave the Linux and the Red Hat 64-bit, press Continue and I'm going to want to change my RAM to 1024 meg so I'm just giving it a gig of RAM go ahead and click next we're going to create a virtual hard disk now I'm just going to choose VDI dynamically allocated and instead of 8 gigs I'm going to choose 20 gigs just to give myself some room to move in the future as I experiment with this machine now that that's finished you notice that CentOS 7 minimal is at the bottom of your list of virtual machines so go ahead and just double click on that and you're going to see this window right here. So it's asking for you to put in your installation disk. But we downloaded an ISO. So mine are located in Linux distros. And you see CentOS 7 Everything ISO here. So I highlight, click Open, and click Start. When the virtual machine starts, you have two options. You can install CentOS 7 directly or test this media and then install. Now I know that this media is working, so I'm going to install directly. Just highlight that and push enter. And when it finishes booting into the installation, you'll notice welcome to CentOS 7. Go ahead and choose your language and your region. Mine is English in the United States. Press continue. And if you want to, go ahead and change the date and time. I'm going to leave this just as is so that we can save a little bit of time on the video. The installation source will be local media. We're doing a minimal install. And then let's look at our partitioning. For, again, the purposes of shortening up the video, I'm going to automatically configure the partitioning. However, I do highly suggest that you manually configure your partitioning when you do your install. Go ahead and click Done. And if you're connected to a network, go ahead and click Network and Hostname. And just flip on that toggle right there. Click Done. And a little bit about what makes this a minimal install. You can change what kind of server type this is. So there's minimal install, and then notice we have compatibility libraries, development tools, and smart card support. I'm going to take off smart card support and just leave the other two because I don't really have a use for smart cards at this time. Uh, now, say for instance you wanted to choose server with GUI. You could choose the radial option for server with GUI and then change and add whatever you want to on the right. However, don't mix and match every single thing on the left and the right. You will override some things. So with that being said, just push done and then begin installation. While this is installing, go ahead and set your root password. I'm going to go ahead and set mine. And notice that my password is weak. It's based on a dictionary word. It's just something that's really easy for me to type in my VMs to do these tutorials. Uh, don't feel like you can't do it just push down once twice and it's fine to go as you read in the bottom there I'm gonna go ahead and set my user account tux as normal put in the same weak password and again just go to done one two and we're good to go again so another thing to note is that we only have 401 packages here to install so remember this is a minimal installation and we don't have to install all of the different services if you're serious about server implementation the minimal install really is the best way to go you're going to save on electricity because you're running less services you're putting your computer through uh, less strain you're going to have a much better experience plus if you're going to do a server for certain things like say Apache web server you can go straight to that one service just use that and you're good to go so I sped that up notice it was completed go ahead and press the reboot button like I did 
and your system will reboot. Go ahead and choose the first option just to make it a little quicker. And here it is. This is CentOS 7 Minimal. It's only a CLI for now. I'm going to go ahead and test my Tux account. And I was able to log in. I'll exit out of my account now, and I'm going to just make sure that root is good to go. I have no doubts that it is. However, let's just go ahead and type in root, type in the password that you set, and boom, there I'm in root. So stay tuned for the next video. I know that this is a minimal install, and having a GUI interface is really, really nice. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to make this CentOS 7 minimal install uh, capable to utilize KDE. So please give a like, subscribe, share, and remember, happy Linuxing!